Today is tree trimming day. Apparently there's a bunch of guys sawing down palm trees outside of my window on my street. It's 10 o'clock now. Apparently your girl is not gonna get to sleep today. I don't even think these are the same people. I think these are different people. It stopped for a little bit and I fell asleep. <sighs> and I gotta listen to this shit, dude. Oh, everyone's like, why are you always so tired? Bitch, because this is my life. I fucking uh I want some sleep, 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 I wanna sleep. Oh, I'm getting so fucking cranky right now. It's not okay. Here wrap thingy on. Um I did an oil treatment last night before I went to bed. So I don't know if you guys can see, but look all all oily and shit. I'm about to go get my green tea and then I'm going to wash this off. Um, I like to leave oil treatments in overnight, especially during the winter time because it gets very, very dry. My skin gets super dry. Um, I don't know, maybe today I'll make this about uh, dreadlock care. At least my dreadlock care. Everyone has a different way of caring for their skin, their hair, their dreadlocks, what have you. So, um, maybe I'll do that today. We'll see how it goes. You know I don't really know what the hell I'm doing until I get to the editing part. So, yeah. So, that, that's why I look all large, head wrappy. All the dreadlocks are up here. It was just to keep oil from getting on my pillow. So, what you do is you kind of like, you take oil and you just like rub it around the scalp area. I just do the scalp. Some people put oil through their dreadlocks. Like, they'll run it through. Um, I just haven't really done it uh, I don't feel like the ends of my hair are dry so Starbucks and then shower and then work and yeah so lots to do it is already 4 30 <laughs> I didn't get to bed until like 11 so like I was saying I did an oil treatment last night so my hair looks super crazy but uh, my scalp feels moisturized and that is the point because dandruff is a thing. A very big thing and a very annoying thing when you have dreadlocks. So you gotta take care of your scalp. Otherwise it just like takes over your entire life. <laughs> All right, let's get in the shower. <laughs> this is my favorite shampoo um, it just gets really really clean I like Dolly Locks for if I want a more conditioning treatment but this one's really good for if you want to like strip the hair because after you do an oil treatment you don't want any oil residue in your hair I'll separate out my bangs I wash my hair with normal shampoo, just my loose parts, my bangs. You can't really wash all your hair with dreadlock shampoo. Just uh, it turns into a not good thing. You get all knotty and stuff because it's not conditioning enough. Take it, and I separate it, and then I wash. Probably gonna have to wash this twice. So I did a lot of oil last night. It actually takes me longer to wash my hair now that I have dreadlocks, <laughs> which you would think, you would think it would be like, oh, you know, dreadlocks, they're low maintenance and whatever. But I spend more money on my hair now than I ever did when I had like regular loose hair. Because the shampoos, the um, products are still expensive. They're like more natural, but they're still expensive. Um, and then you also have, you know, you have to go in and get them tightened and maintenance. And you gotta color them, at least for me, I have to color them and bleach them and stuff. And I don't bleach my own hair because I don't want to have my dreadlocks fall off. 
second round of washing dreadlocks. I don't want that shampoo. No. There we go. You see how it's getting lathered now? And it wasn't before. It wasn't lathering before because there was so much oil. Which is good because I wanted to moisturize my scalp. But now it's lathering and it's nice and thick. It's a little scratchies with my nails now. So happy I put my nails back on. And I just kind of take it section by section and make sure I got everything. I'm going to get in between the sections. You just like, you don't want to have like one little oily piece basically. Or like, you know, you just want your scalp to be super clean. And this stuff has uh, tea tree oil in it. So it's really good for, you know, moisturizing your scalp and making sure like antibacterial and things like that. See now, I cannot say if everyone does as deep a clean on their dreadlocks as I do. I just, I have to have like a nice scalp. I am a picker and if my scalp is not in a good state, I will literally scratch my scalp off. So I am very, very particular about this. So this shower head that I got, I got it from Home Depot, not sponsored or anything weird like that. Um, this thing is awesome. Watch this. So this thing turns on, and then you put this like all the way up. Make sure you get all that soap out. This is probably my favorite purchase of 2020 so far. See how it looks like it's super intense. You don't want to leave any soap on your scalp or in your dreadlocks. Alright, so my dreadlocks are done. Ah, oh, so clean. My head feels amazing. It's my back guys. Doesn't look like I colored my back, which means I rinsed out enough of the color when I colored my hair. If you don't rinse out the uh, hair color enough, sometimes you'll take a shower and it'll turn like half your body purple and half your body blue. It sucks. I use a shampoo and a conditioner though. On dreadlocks, you don't use a conditioner. I pull my dreadlocks back. Use a color safe shampoo because my bangs lose color really quickly. I don't know why, that just is how it is. The color always goes out of my bangs first, so I have to recolor my bangs more often than I have to recolor my hair, but I'm too lazy, so I just won't do it, and then I'll just wait till all of it needs to be colored. One day I'm gonna get my life together, and it's gonna be great. It doesn't matter if some of the soap gets on the dreadlocks, it's not a big deal. The biggest thing is you don't wanna condition the dreadlocks. It's not super bad for it, but it will leave residue in there. My condition. I want you to fit into a ponytail is normally what I do just to keep it away from the dreadlocks. I will absolutely never do any type of like wet type of photography because I look like a little tiny wet animal <laughs> and I never knew it till now. Thanks vlogging. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. What, what animal do I look like? I feel like I look like a little like wet animal. I don't know. Maybe like an otter or something. Maybe a seal. Yep. This is, this is not my look, but you know, I feel some people don't know how to take care of dreadlocks. So this might be something cool they can learn from. I am done with my hair. I'm going to put my hair up and I'm going to scrub my body real quick because, and my face, because the hair dye gets all over you and it can stain you and even if you don't see it now you'll see it when you get out so i just preemptively scrub and make sure that my hair dye didn't stain my skin so i'm gonna do that and i'll check in with you guys when i'm out of the shower i already put spray like blow dry spray in my bangs because i'm going to blow dry them i'm gonna take a gel and go through my dreadlocks just to get the flyaways to like calm down I use the Dolly Locks Coconut Aloe and Lime Tightening Gel. This stuff's really good. It doesn't have any residue. I've been using it for years. Then what I do is I just like individually 
take the dreadlock and separate it and make sure. Because you see like that, they start to grow together. Just gotta make sure you separate them. And I know that tear, like it sounds bad, but it's actually really not, it didn't hurt at all. So you're just kind of twisting the loose hair into place. And then I, I'm twisting it right now just to hold it in place. I'm gonna untwist them after I dry it. But if you leave it like that, then the um, the root will like look thinner and I don't like any um, like different. I like my dreadlocks to remain basically the same like thickness. There's only so much you could do. I mean, there's still dreadlocks, you know. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is what I do. This is what works for me, for my hair. I am not by any means trying to tell anyone what to do. If you have dreadlocks, you know that you have to find your own way of doing your dreadlocks that works for your specific hair. So this is just what I do. I'm sharing what I do and tricks that I've learned so that people can try them and see if it works for their hair. Stop tangoing. So the biggest thing is to try to make sure that you get it in the right section, which gets pretty difficult towards the back. I'm gonna have to look in the mirror and like move shit around. Um, but it is definitely worth it because it does help with maintenance and stuff. Sometimes it's very hard to tell where you've already gotten it. The biggest thing with dreadlocks is organization. You are organized, knotting your hair. It is very important that you keep it organized because they will grow together, they will eat each other, it will be a thing and you will be very, very upset. I like to keep my appearance very clean and organized. Um, you know, because there's a lot of people who just, for some reason, believe that dreadlocks are dirty. I don't get that. Like, as a stripper, you get that a lot as well because people are ignorant and they just don't understand. Okay, so I did my whole head and now I have my bangs out. front this is the back I don't know if you can see but the sections are a lot more clean I'm gonna start getting my makeup ready for work now